This is the same schematic, or the bigger view of the schematic for the Tenma 72630, that 30 amp, uh, 15 volt power supply. If you look here, we see that this is our uh, same one we looked at in the last video, transformer, RF filter, here's our bridge rectifier, just an alternate symbol for that. And our uh, filter capacitor, I didn't label that, but that's our filter capacitor, 4700 microfarads, 10 in parallel, so 47 millifarads as uh, effective uh, one unit. All right, so again, this is V-RAW. But the top of this says, you remember the Alenco? We used an extra diode and capacitor to get um, additional power supply voltage, higher voltage for the regulator circuit. Well, the regulator circuit is on this board, a little external, uh, that's the trim here, overload indicator and such. Well, we see that this extra winding, extra 5 volt winding, uh, comes off and it goes up here. Well, let's just see where that goes. Let's trace, uh, trace where that goes. I'm going to start with uh, the top side. So trace where this goes. It goes over here. Kind of hurts your eyes when there's so many uh, in parallel. All right. I can't trace things very well. All right. So you know this up here, in here, through pin 14. And then here, which is also apparently tied to pin 15. And uh, important to us is we're going to see a capacitor here. So we see this capacitor. I can't really read it. C8 or so. 6.3 volts. This is 6.3 instead of 63. That would be uh, weird because this is a 5 volt winding. All right, so let's go back. Uh, where is this uh, this node? Let's see what this node is. We'll go over here and we'll go down. All right, because this capacitor is, is something. All right, something over to the right that's not important. I cut it off. Go over here and look where we ended up. We ended up sitting on top of V raw. I'll draw the schematic down here a little better so we can see what this is. All right, so we have here's V raw. Here's that capacitor. This is how we just determined that this capacitor was uh, uh, was here. I'll call it C uh, C. Eight, uh, 470 uh, micro I'll just to use a, a U whatever it doesn't matter All right so we have this one on top and if we go way back up here we see on the top side we have to the left is kind of the regulator circuitry but to the right is a diode there is a, a capacitor in parallel with it this is for uh, turn off time and making this power supply kind of quiet and not injecting things in there, kind of out of the scope of what I'm talking about right now. So just kind of ignore that, making an open circuit. We have that, and now let's look where the anode side of the diode goes. We'll trace this. Maybe I should have used a different color. Oh well, too late. Okay, come down here, and we're at the other side of the transformer. All right, so now we can draw the schematic of this thing. Really, I'm going to draw this diode going this way because I like my inputs on the left. They're not required to be on the left, but it's just kind of nice. All right, so this is uh, D4, I think it was. And then here we have the winding of the transformer. It says 5 volts. The other side of the transformer, remember, was hooked to the bottom side of the capacitor. Just like that. All right. Here's V raw. We'll call this uh, this end to be just our zero uh, volt reference. And you can see that this zero goes here, it goes here. It's kind of our, uh, it's just our zero output. Later, uh, actually just right here, the connector is shown. This is the minus output of the power supply. All right, so we have a big, big zero here. So here is the power supply for the regulator. that does its thing. And you see that we have a larger thing. Well, this is 5 volts. This is a half-wave rectifier, diode, capacitor. What is this? This is, remember, this is 5 volts RMS. 
which is 5 times square root of 2, 5 square root of 2 peak. We always have sine waves here. I've got a calculator, so I'll just calculate 5 times square root of 2 is 7.1 volts, 7.1 volts or so. So we have V raw, which is, uh, what was it, 23 something? Previous page, 23.7. 23.7 volts. There we go. 23.7 plus 7.1. That's uh, what? 30. 30.7. 30.8. Math. Volts. And now we have a larger power supply available to power up the regulator. What's left is the regulator transistor. And some of these connections over here, especially I believe it's pin 7 up here. This would be like a Darlington output. And then pin 7 would be the base of the big transistor that's on the heat sink, dissipating all the power. But the collector for that transistor is hooked to V-RAW instead. Just like in the Olenco, but this is just a slightly way, a different way of doing it. I'll compare these maybe side by side. Side by side, perhaps. That's my other figure. Where'd it go? Right here. So here's V raw. This one has, remember, V raw is really a capacitor, not a voltage source. This one has C8 in series with that to go up to this 30.8. The other half wave rectifier used had the bottom side of the capacitor hooked all the way to zero. Really, there's, there's very little practical difference in that. And you can see that it was, uh, the way it was hooked up here was kind of a matter of convenience. It's probably just easier to hook it here. And as you know, there's electrically not much uh, difference. Humongous capacitor in series with 470. It's really the total capacitance at this node was gonna be very similar to 470 because uh, the other one was so big. Another boost power supply, cheap and easy to get higher voltages for your regulator that doesn't uh, draw much current and end up with a higher efficiency linear power supply.